Have you ever paused in your kitchen and wondered if something sitting on your shelf could be the secret to a healthier, more vibrant garden? It turns out the answer might be closer than you think, right in your pantry. Forget about reaching for harsh, synthetic chemicals that can harm your soil and the environment. Sometimes the most effective solutions are the simplest ones. Like baking soda, a staple you probably already have next to your flour and sugar. This humble white powder known scientifically as sodium bicarbonate, is famous for its role in baking and cleaning. But its uses go far beyond the kitchen. In the garden it becomes a powerful ally, helping you nurture your plants naturally. When you use baking soda, you're choosing a gentle, natural alternative to chemical sprays. It's safe for your plants, your pets, and your family, so you can let your kids and furry friends roam the garden without worry. Think about it. Why would you want to spray your homegrown veggies with substances you wouldn't dare put on your dinner plate? With baking soda, you can keep your produce clean and chemical-free. Using baking soda in your garden is all about common sense and simplicity. It's a time-tested trick that gardeners have relied on for generations, and it's as easy as mixing a little with water and spraying it on your plants. Baking soda helps restore balance in your garden, gently nudging your plants toward health and resilience. Instead of waging war with chemicals, you're working in harmony with nature, encouraging your plants to thrive. With a little observation and patience, you'll notice your garden responding, leaves looking greener, flowers blooming brighter, and vegetables growing more robustly. It's a natural transformation that happens right before your eyes. So why not unlock the potential of that familiar orange box? Make baking soda a cornerstone of your garden care routine and discover just how much it can do for your plants. It's simple, effective, and incredibly satisfying to see the results. Give it a try and see how easy it is to make a positive change in your garden. You might be surprised by the difference a little baking soda can make in your own patch of earth. Sometimes the best solutions really are the simplest. How can baking soda fight garden diseases? It's all about science. Spraying a mild baking soda solution changes the pH on leaf surfaces, making it tough for fungi like powdery mildew to grow. It also deters soft-bodied pests, aphids, spider mites, mealybugs, by disrupting their outer layers. It's not a harsh insecticide, just a gentle deterrent. Plus, baking soda cleans leaves, removing dust and sticky residue so plants can photosynthesize better. In short, it's a fungicide, pest repellent, and leaf cleaner, all in one. This gentle, preventative approach supports plant health and sustainable gardening. Work with nature, not against it, for a beautiful, resilient garden. Making your own garden spray is easy. Mix 1 tablespoon baking soda with 1 gallon lukewarm water. Add 1 teaspoon mild liquid soap. This helps the solution stick to leaves. Use only plain baking soda, not baking powder. Stir until dissolved, then add the soap gently to avoid too many bubbles. Pour into a clean spray bottle and you're ready to go. For crawling pests, simply dust dry soil around plants with baking soda from a shaker. The powder irritates slugs and snails, creating a barrier. Use sparingly and only when the ground is dry. That's it, your homemade all-purpose garden spray. To use your spray, fill a clean garden sprayer with your prepared solution and shake it well to mix thoroughly. Spray in the early morning or late afternoon, never in the hot sun, to avoid leaf burn and help the spray work best. Avoid spraying just before rain or it'll simply wash away and lose its effectiveness. Cover all leaf surfaces, especially the undersides where pests and diseases often like to hide. Aim for a light, even mist, there's no need to drench the leaves or soak the soil. Reapply weekly during disease-prone periods or every 5-7 days for active problems to keep plants protected. This is a contact spray so monitor your plants regularly and adjust your routine as needed. Observation is your best gardening tool. Stay attentive for the healthiest garden possible. Baking soda is a gentle, natural remedy for many garden issues, but it's important to use it with care and intention. While it can be a helpful tool, improper use can lead to unintended consequences for your plants and soil. Always start by testing your baking soda solution on a small, inconspicuous area of a plant's leaf. This simple step helps you spot any negative reactions before treating the whole plant. Wait at least a day or two to see if there's any discoloration, wilting, or damage. It's tempting to think that a stronger solution will work faster or better, but that's not the case. Stick closely to the recommended recipe. Using too much baking soda can actually burn leaves, causing brown edges or yellow spots that stress your plants. Be careful not to saturate the soil when spraying. 
Baking soda contains sodium, and too much sodium can build up in the soil, harming roots and disrupting the delicate balance that keeps your garden healthy. If you find yourself using baking soda sprays regularly, it's a good idea to occasionally flush the soil with plain water. This helps wash away any excess sodium and keeps your soil in top condition for plant growth. Remember, baking soda is alkaline. Over time, repeated use can raise your soil's pH, making it harder for plants to absorb essential nutrients. Consider testing your soil's pH if you use baking soda often, and adjust your gardening practices as needed. For best results, apply baking soda as a foliar spray, directly onto the leaves, rather than pouring it into the soil. This targets the problem and minimizes risk to your garden's ecosystem. Focus on affected leaves or areas using a targeted approach, this ensures you're treating only what needs attention and not exposing the entire plant or garden unnecessarily. When it comes to baking soda, less is more. Always err on the side of caution, measuring carefully and applying sparingly to avoid overuse. By following these simple guidelines, you'll keep your garden safe, healthy, and thriving, enjoying the benefits of baking soda without the risks. Mixing up garden spray always reminds me of baking. There's something oddly satisfying about donning your chef's hat and heading out to the garden, armed with a bottle and a sense of purpose. It's as if you're about to whip up a secret family recipe, only this time, the guests are a little less welcome. Measuring out the white powder, carefully mixing it with water, I can't help but feel like a mad scientist in my own backyard laboratory. The ingredients are simple, but the results can be surprisingly effective. But let's be honest, this recipe isn't destined for the dessert table. No, this concoction is strictly for the uninvited guests nibbling on your precious plants. It's a treat for the garden, but a trick for the pests. Imagine the aphid's surprise, expecting a sweet treat, perhaps a sugary drizzle, only to be met with a not-so-sweet eviction notice. It's the culinary equivalent of changing the locks on their favorite restaurant overnight. One day, it's an all-you-can-eat buffet, and the next, the doors are closed and the menu's been rewritten. You're not waging war with flamethrowers or harsh chemicals just politely telling pests, sorry, the kitchen's closed, time to move along. Outsmarting bugs with a humble kitchen staple is a quiet, satisfying victory for the thoughtful gardener. It's a gentle nudge, not a declaration of war. Next time you reach for baking soda, take a moment to appreciate its double life. Cake creator and garden defender, a true multitasker in your home. Just don't get your recipes mixed up. Trust me, your plants won't thank you for a dusting of cookie dough, and your cakes definitely won't rise with a splash of garden spray. Plants have no taste for chocolate chips, and cakes have no need for pest control. Keep your gardening and baking adventures separate for everyone's sake. Your taste buds and your tomatoes will thank you. Sometimes the simplest solutions are hiding in plain sight, right in your kitchen cupboard. With a little creativity and a dash of humor, you can keep your garden thriving and your cake's delicious. No mix-ups required. Want to boost your baking soda spray? Add one two teaspoons of horticultural or neem oil per gallon. These oils help the spray stick and smother pests like aphids and mites. Neem oil also disrupts insect growth and feeding, and adds extra fungicidal power. Shake the sprayer well, oil and water separate easily. This enhanced mix gives you a four-pronged attack pH change, sticking power, pest smothering, and extra fungus control. It's a comprehensive natural treatment you can make at home, try it and watch your garden thrive.